Hello, this is Rick and thanks for joining. Today's topic is going to be an Excel 2013 tutorial and it's tutorial number six and it's going to be the first part of formulas and so this will be an introduction to using formulas within Excel. I wanted to point out that my website is www.10minutetrain.com and here's some other links that may be of interest to you. All of these tutorials will be posted and they'll be posted for free on the website which is again 10minutetrain.com. What I've done here is I've created a spreadsheet just a very basic spreadsheet and I want to just get you um, comfortable with using uh, some basic formulas at this point. I've created a, a list of numbers here and you see 10 through 50 here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use autofill. So I'm going to highlight all of these and you can see they're sequential by uh, increments of 10 here, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm going to bring my cursor down here to the bottom right after I've highlighted all the cells and then let go of my mouse. And I'll wait till I get the cursor on the bottom right, then I'm going to click and hold my mouse button, my left mouse button, and I'm going to drag it down to row 10 and do, so now I have um, increasing numbers from 10 to 100 in increments of 10. So now what I want to do is talk about some really basic formulas. So there's a couple things you can do here. One is if you want to auto sum your numbers. If I go right here on number 11 here, or on cell A11, and I go to formulas, and I can click here on auto sum. If I click auto sum and I do it right below this these numbers, I can click it, and you see it automatically selected uh, the range right above it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and there you can see it totals 550. But I could also do that formula elsewhere on the sheet. I could go over here and instead of clicking auto sum, and now I'm going to type equals, and then I'm going to type sum. You can see what will happen here. As you start typing the formula name, it will start to um, filter on the available options. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the, I can either click on the sum here, or I can just hit tab with it highlighted. I hit tab. And you see where it says number one, comma, number two, and so forth. I could manually put in numbers there, but what I want to do, I want to select this range over here. So I want to single click here on the A1 cell and drag it, my mouse, all the way down to the last cell that I want to count. And I can go ahead and hit return, or sorry, put a parenthesis there to close it. Hit return, and there you have the 550. The other thing that you can do here is let's say I didn't want to include this cell. What I could do is go back to this formula and I could change this range and say oh I only want to count from A1 through A5 and then I can do a comma but I also want to include cell A7 through A10 and highlight those and then click and then have the close parentheses and hit return and there you see it's 490 so I've excluded a range out of there and I can do or a cell or a range of cells and I can do that just by putting a comma there so that's how the sum works. Other formulas that you can use are average. So you can find these. You can either start typing them. A, V, E, R. And you can see you get lots of options there. So we're going to go ahead and do the average here. And I'm going to do that. I am going to hit tab. And then in this case, I'm going to do the, the range. I'm going to highlight those, select them, hit return. And there you see um, the average of those numbers. Likewise, I can go over here under more functions and I can do, um, I can go underneath different um, sections here. I can find statistical um, functions, engineering functions, cube functions, information. Um, but I'm just going to go right now, I'm going to go more functions, statistical. And we'll do, let's say you wanted to find the median of these numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and choose median. And there it pops in the formula. And there I can either manually type in numbers or I can go right here into the formula. I can click, I can click this cell right here. I'm going to move this over here. I can click this, this box right here for number one. And I can click here on cell A1 and drag down hit return and say OK and there's my median right, which happens to be the same as the average in this case. The other thing is 
what I can do is instead of using that formula, instead of using the, the menu, I can just start typing equals median. And then I can select, I hit tab when I, when I highlighted the median for, um, formula, then I can select those and do that. Now another thing I can do here, let me get rid of this one and do 50. And you can see what happens is these are all dynamically changing as I change those. So what I want to do is I'm going to do the mode now. So the mode is the most frequent recurring number. So I'm going to do mode. And then what I want to do is I want to go down to this one. And it gives you a little warning here that it's not compatible with Excel 2007 and earlier just as a, as a, as a information there. So again, I'm going to go over here and highlight those and click close parentheses and you can see that would be 50. If I went over here and I changed these numbers to, I went down here and I copied 20 down and I had more 20s, you see what happened, it would, it would change the mode to 20 there because that's the most frequently uh, occurring number. The other thing is there's lots of formulas that you can customize um, your uh, content with. So I'm going to go down here to row 20. And I have a cell, I have a number here, 24.3 and 24.8. So I can go down here and I can round up that number or round down that number. So I'm going to go ahead and round it up. And I'm going to click, instead of putting a number, manual number here, which I could do, and then the number of digits, I'm just going to click the cell. I'm going to reference cell A20. And in this case, I'm not going to. I'm going to do zero digits, so I don't want to see anything after the whole number, and that'd be zero digits. The other thing, I can come over here and I could say round down with the same thing, and you can see it will change it from 25 to 24, and that's how round up and round down work. And then, if I want to, I can just say equals round, and go over here, and it would. Oh, Sorry about that. I forgot to put the number of digits. Put zero digits. And there you have 25. And now if I copy that formula, I'm going to copy it and put it in cell A20. And there you see it just defaults to the normal rounding, which is um, under 0.5, rounds down over uh, 0.5 and up, it rounds up. So if I change this to 24.5, it should make this cell 25. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back in the next tutorial and I'm going to share with you um, some financial formulas. And then in the t tutorial after that, I'm going to come back and kind of put a few of these things together and show you how you might use this in a little bit more of a complex situation. Thanks for joining. Please subscribe. Take care.